Well, hello, yeah. YouTubers, and welcome back to the channel. Doing a little comparison on dial calipers, electronic, and and uh, the cheap imitations, and and uh, and the genuine Starrett's and Michitoyos. I've got a plus a minus pin set here, and I got a 250 pin. And this was the is with the with the stare it. You see it's this is dead on. So we're gonna do these knockoffs. This is a just a imitation of a stare or something like that. And you see it's uh it's it's right on too. And these are probably around 40, 50 bucks. And uh, here's another another pair, different brand, but but this but the cheap stuff, and you see it's uh, it's right on too. They actually read the closest to what they're supposed to, right? Uh -huh. Because they're supposed to. We we mic'd it with a set of micrometers to begin with, and it's reading probably two tenths under two fifty which is what the spec sheet, you know, say they're supposed to, that's the tolerance they're supposed to hold. So. This is a set of uh, Stuart McDonald's. They are, they uh, cater to the, to the instrument builders, luthiers, and, uh, and these, uh, I believe uh, Spencer said was around $50, and they read in, uh, half thousandths see like right there is four and a half six and a half you know five or eight it's hard to get it stop on the right on the number but uh and these is reading 249 and a half all right here's a pair of fake michitoyos uh, they look just like the real deal, except on the display, you got five zeros on the original one, and you only got four on the the fake ones. Yeah, they're they're counterfeits. They even say Minotoyo. Yeah, you bought them off eBay or something, mm -hmm. not knowing they were they were counterfeit, yeah. right? Yeah, a long time ago, got a, got a good buy in them. wasn't hardly nothing, but. But they they do pretty well too. You see that's that's two forty nine, and uh, so we'll get the the original, the real deal here. We'll try them. Now down towards the bottom, I think those things are bent. That's where the light. That's where the light was up at the top. I think it read better, it read more accurately. Yeah, two forty nine and a half. No, it's two forty nine. So, uh, yeah, I can feel it drag a little bit. Okay, right here's right here's a stare at zero to one mic, and these pins are minus minus, and. It, maybe two tenths small is what the what the the book says came with them and you see this is this is probably about two tenths so so this pen is probably about 249 and eight tenths so any of these cheap micrometers probably get anybody by because if you're going to get into the uh real uh close tolerances, you're going to have a mic and you're going to have one with tents on it. We just happen to have this one laying handy. It's just uh, what my son uses here in the guitar shop. And uh, So I hope hope this uh, sheds a little light on the cheap dial calipers. And hope you enjoyed the video. I, I, I got Dad a pair of these for Christmas. And uh, the reason I like the, the Stu Mac ones, uh, this company is called Stuart McDonald if you're, if you're interested in a pair of these. They're like a uh, mail order uh, company
catering towards uh, instrument makers and luthiers and that sort of thing. But the reason I like them is they take a CR2032 watch batteries, which are the real common ones that you can find almost anywhere, you know, not the more obscure ones like the uh, Minotoyos take. Um, so if the battery goes dead, you can, you know, run to your local Dollar General or Walmart or somewhere like that, and they'll probably likely have one. And I also like that the, the display is pretty big and, and easy to see. And, and as you can as you can see, like he was talking about earlier there on, on these pin gauges, they they read them, you know, reasonably. Like when we checked it with the micrometer, you know, it was a light 250, you know, like Dad said, probably 250 and 8 tenths. And, you know, this, one's, this one is recognizing that it's, you know, light, but, you know, it can either... It's only going to be able to say 250 or 249 and a half. Can't do nothing in between. So, you know, they're reasonably reasonably accurate. Like you can see even at the bottom bottom of the jaws there, I'm still getting the same same reading. There's zero. So, um yep, not a not a bad set of calipers um given their price point and the the battery they take. It's also kind of cool because they have thousandths of an inch. They have uh, uh, millimeters. They go to hundredths of a millimeter, but they also have a fractional setting. So if you spill a bunch of your drill bits or your Allen wrenches or something like that, and you and you're not sure, you know what size it is, you can set it on the fractional uh, setting and and check and you know see what drill bit it is, and it, it measures to you know sixty fourths of an inch. So every sixty fourth, it, it has a you know. Uh, a stop so it's um that's that's pretty pretty handy too if you spill all your drill bits or your allen wrenches and didn't you say there were a lifetime warranty yeah uh stuart mcdonald for the i think for the most part they they have a lifetime warranty on everything they sell uh so if you get them and you know something something stops working on them they usually will will replace them or make it right to you in some kind of way so yeah uh pretty pretty handy little find there i think there's another brand on um Amazon that are probably made in the same factory that these things are in China or wherever they're made. Um, I think they're called Easy Easy Measure or something like that. Anyway, I'm not sure if they do the fractional thing or not though, which that's a, like I said, that's a handy thing if you if you drop a bunch of drill bits or you got a big pile of them laying around and you know it's hard to read the little numbers on the small ones or whatever you can pick these up and sort through your drill bits or your allen wrenches so um there you go well while we're in the shop how about showing what you're working on oh yeah yeah well i got some got some guitars going in here quite a few of them actually uh, this is uh this is one uh T today is the day after Christmas, actually, and just because I don't think I'd ever glued the top on a guitar uh, on Christmas Day. Last night, I glued the, the top on this, this box uh, at about 11.30, so the one thing that most small shop instrument makers like myself do is we'll sign the underside of the top and write the date and that sort of thing on it, what number it is, like serial number and all that, and uh, so I got to date this one on Christmas Day. Uh, in 2023 so that's kind of cool and it's a good good sounding one this is going to be something similar to that of like a d18 martin style guitar if you're familiar with martin guitars and this is a really uh cur it's actually curly mahogany really really pretty curls it kind of would remind you of koa but it's but it's actually mahogany and uh, these are two other uh, D18s style guitars that I helped uh, a couple of friends of mine build. And uh, this is another small body. Um, this is similar to that of like a D or a, a 0021 style Martin guitar. It's just, uh, some really gorgeous figured walnut uh, back and sides and spruce top. But yeah, it's just a little, little guitar, real comfortable to play. He's got a little little higher pitch tap to it where, where did that walnut come from that's this is a uh, from virginia smith county virginia southwestern uh -huh. part of the state and uh how about the cigarette lighter deal you want to show, show them oh that? yeah you can do that if you yeah uh, you got one laying around handy yeah i think i've got one floating around here somewhere Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> uh, we get a little 
like this because somebody might think you you let your your hand off the off the uh, lighter. You might have to hold this. Uh -huh. There we go. All right. Here we go. <laughs> of course, it was. It wasn't wasn't burning very good, but it'll it'll put a lighter out to you. But here you go. Hold hold the lighter flame. We don't set the guitar shop on fire. Right, yeah. I right. Yeah. But I figured somebody in the comment section will be like, oh, he just let his hand off a lighter when yeah. he heard the tap. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, folks. Hope but you yeah, enjoy. yeah, if you enjoy this kind of thing, I got a, a YouTube channel too. It's uh, Strickland String Instruments. If you like to hear... Uh, usually anytime I get a guitar made, I'll I'll do a little video and play play a song or two on it for five or, or so minutes. And if you uh, if you like that kind of thing, stop on over there and, and pay my channel a visit. <laughs> Thanks for watching.